Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unbox coming at you today with an unboxing of the Acer Chromebase 24. This is a 24 inch all-in-one Chromebook that was announced way back in January at CES and hasn't been available to the public until just now. We got ours from Walmart, it's available from multiple outlets. This is the base model with the Celeron 16 gigs of internal storage and four gigs of RAM. It goes all the way up to an i5 with eight gigs of RAM, but this guy comes in at $429 if you find it in the right place and in stock. So we're excited to see how it performs under real world use, but first we gotta get it unboxed. So let's get at it. We've got keyboard, uh, island style keys, uh, huge travel on these things. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, so it's, it's heavy. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I'll turn this around so you can actually see uh, right here up top, there's a, a little adjustment here for your webcam. So, uh, because we have a big screen and that thing's probably not always going to be pointed right at your face, you can quickly tilt and lean your webcam. Um, it feels like the screen uh, can, can actually move, uh, what do we want to say, about 30 degrees there straight up and down to 90 so um, you get a decent amount of tilt there because it is a glossy panel um, so there's going to be some reflection uh, for some people as they set this thing up Uh, just from a hardware perspective, uh, gotta say it's it's very attractive. Um, so the the assuming glass, this might be plastic. It's, when the glass gets thin, it's hard to tell. But the glossy part goes all the way to the edge. So there's no real uh, plasticky bezel, save for right up here. And you got the, kind of this nice machine speaker grills across here. We'll obviously take a look at those in the review and um, talk about how good or bad those are. Let's look across the back here. And we've got Acer emblazoned nice and large across here. We've got this nice metal feeling. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's solid aluminum. Uh, the base is really sturdy, which is very nice. Uh, no plasticky cheapness going on here. Um, you've got a full-size Ethernet port, uh, HDMI out. This is no, not an input here. Uh, two USB 3s and USB 2 power Kensington lock. And that's about it. It looks like for the ports. Uh, this is probably fan grill down here at the bottom. Oh, we got a couple more things here on the side. Let's see, let me tilt this up. Oh gosh, it's really heavy. Um, another USB 3.0, so that makes three um, headphone microphone full size SD card slot. And some more fan vents right across the top there. So that looks like about it as far as the hardware is concerned. We're gonna break away real quick and power this guy up. All right guys, we're back um, after getting this thing powered on, uh, signed in, all those kind of things. We are running in guest mode. Um, we have not yet reviewed a Celeron in the Skylake 
family. So a six gen Celeron processor yet. So I'm a little eager to see how Octane runs on this thing. A um, couple quick notes um, and, and we'll, we'll kind of wrap this thing up for today. Uh, the keyboard and mouse, as expected, are really cheap feeling, uh, real plasticky and light. But the travel on the keyboard is not that bad. So if you're using this for a kiosk kind of setup or it's going to a library or that kind of thing, I think the uh, usability of both would be just fine. They're nothing to really um, remark about. They're just uh, decent in general. Um, the screen looks great. 1080p IPS uh, viewing angles are really good. So I'll turn this just a little bit to the side so you can kind of see. We don't really see any issues as we turn from side to side and then as I tilt it forward uh, and back, really you don't lose too much color, just a little bit of brightness that you're kind of detecting on the camera there. We got 1600 or 16,255, which is pretty stinking good. Um, if you think back to uh, fourth gen i3 that's in the um, Asus Chromebox that does really well uh, and has really no issues whatsoever with performance, gets around a 16,000. So uh, we're seeing the Celerons come up. The, uh, the couple of generations of processors from Intel have gotten better. 16,000 to me, guys get you in a range where this is um, completely acceptable performance and again we're going to talk about this stuff in uh, full review after I've had some time to work from this device but um, pretty pretty encouraging honestly um, let me get logged in real quick because I would like to play you these speakers real fast and see how they how they perform uh, the screen is rated at 250 nits of brightness uh, and it's getting all of that. Uh, really, really bright, nice vibrant colors as IPS panels are in general. Um, 1080p looks great on this size. If you get up close, yeah, you see some pixels, but you're not going to be working with your face right in this device, so uh, shouldn't be an issue. Um, the HDMI out gives you the ability to set a second screen to the side of it. Really have a nice, huge workspace, which I'm looking very much forward to. Um, we did this in the last review, but we'll play a little John Bellion. on. Here I tell you, the speakers are loud. <laughs> um, as you would expect, a little mid heavy. Plenty loud though, so if we're talking about doing things again uh, in a kiosk mode or in some sort of public uh, venue, uh, the, the speaker's going to be plenty loud enough. It's probably going to make for a really, really great um, hangouts machine, that kind of thing. And so, um, really good there. Um, I, I don't really have much bad to say about those. So, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, good looking screen, kind of cheap peripherals, decent speakers. Uh, really nice base that can be detached so you can hang it on a wall if you want. Adjustable webcam, beautiful screen, nice and bright. Um, my office sits right next to a window so I'll get a really good feel about how the glare and all that kind of stuff works as I work from this for a little while. Um, and then we will get back to you with a review and, and tell you whether or not uh, we expect this thing to be something that can replace your desktop uh, or, or be a, a machine that you can kind of go to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it is a 6th gen um, core processor, so, uh, or at least in that family anyway, so it will be getting Android apps, uh, whether it's on that page or not, it will be getting Android apps at some point in time. So um, this thing could be a, a pretty awesome thing for a lot of people's homes, uh, schools, works, libraries, that kind of stuff. So um, keep it posted. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel just down below and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, keep it locked to the to the channel. We're going to be reviewing a lot more things. Uh, there's a few things in the shoot here coming up. Um, in addition to obviously uh, getting a full review out of this device. Thanks guys for watching. Until next time, we'll see ya.